There were originally no stray dogs in the world, but as more and more people abandoned their dogs, there came to be one stray dog after another. This little dog was discovered by a fan in a very prosperous village in Zhejiang. Most of the houses in the village were like this. When I arrived there that day, I exclaimed at how beautiful the environment was. I thought they must be wealthy, but what I didn't expect was that in such a prosperous village, there was no place for a small dog to stay. The fan who rescued this little dog, a young woman, initially thought it was a stray dog that had come to their village. Seeing its emaciated and diseased body, the young woman couldn't bear to see it suffer, so she started feeding it every day. It wasn't until the young woman contacted me and I took the little dog away that the owner of the house came up to talk to her. It turned out that this was their guard dog, but because it had contracted skin parasites, they drove it out of the house and denied it food and water. They even drove it away many times, trying to get it to leave for good. But every time the dog would come back, even though it could no longer receive any food or water from its owner. I don't know how hungry this dog had been, to the point that it cherished every single grain of rice that fell to the ground. I named the little black dog Pingan, which means peace, because it was a dog with a turbulent fate, yet it was also tough enough to survive. When I first took it in, I fed it a meaty meal, but to my surprise, it immediately ran around wildly and couldn't stop. I thought it might have contracted distemper, so I rushed it to the hospital. Luckily, it was only acute enteritis. The doctor said the dog probably hadn't eaten meat before and wasn't used to it. I was somewhat puzzled because the other dogs I had rescued before all had iron stomachs and could eat anything they found in the garbage. So why couldn't Ping and handle it? I asked the young woman, and she said our village has a good system for garbage classification. If the dog isn't specifically fed, it's really hard for it to find food on its own. The doctor said Ping An was too weak to be hospitalized, and if it came into contact with a dog carrying distemper in the hospital, it would definitely contract the disease. So, to be on the safe side, the doctor suggested I take it home and treat it myself. I had never given a dog an IV before and was very nervous, but I had no choice but to try.